In today's Pack Squads video, we'll be rocking out with the White Sox City Connect and trying to get a home game and ship at Stadium. Comment down below what I should wear and where we should play in the next game. First things first, squad still looking the same and solid all live series and core cards to start things out from episode one. If you're new, the rules are in the description box down below. Now, in that first episode, we went crazy offensively. We had one bonus from a multi-homer game from Ronald Acuna Jr. and we completed our pre-game challenge of three or more home runs in the game. We did everything after the game except that challenge wheel pack and that's how we're going to start this video. I decided we might as well save the packs that we've been unlocking as we play. Let's head over and take advantage of this stuffing bundle that's on the marketplace. So we bought the 75,000 Sean Murphy stuffing bundle. It adds two more packs to our inventory that we can use for post game rewards and we're going to take this 99 Sean Murphy pretty much a choice pack throw him in as our catcher. That gives us a lineup of Trey Turner, Corey Seager, Sean Murphy, Yord Don, Ronald Acuna Jr., Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, Matt Olson, and Bobby Witt Jr. Today's lineup is brought to you by SeatGeek. Use code SHELPY at SeatGeek for 20 bucks off your ticket. Let's jump into the game. Now, on the road in the Southside Unis, we had live series Spencer Strider on the mound. I do have live face cam and everything, full regular game for game two. I just lost the face cam for game one, so we're doing a quick little recap. But as you would expect playing at Minute Maid Park, this was a bit of an odd game anyway. Both of us had a lot of solid swings to center field that just didn't go anywhere. You have to pull the ball in this stadium to do any damage. We're gonna do exactly that with Corey Seager. We score our first run on that home run that wrapped the foul pole, gave us a one nothing lead. We're then gonna perfect, perfect one out the same way with your Don Alvarez. Double it up, make it two nothing. So now we're up by two in the fourth and we're dealing with Spencer Strider. Again, we are still down here in the four, all the way down in the 400s of ranked season since we haven't played in a while. So we're grinding it back up. These are the exact opponents we need to kind of beat up on and take advantage of and unlock some really good packs so that once we get up on Hall of Fame difficulty again, we are ready to roll. Six strikeouts from Spencer Strider in the fifth where he gives up his first run. An opposite field home run from Martin Martin Maldonado. Oppo Blast, a known Houston Astro and World Series champ, but then Spencer Strider bounces right back for another, another point, another strikeout, ends the fifth, into the sixth, then a fly ball here with Corey Seager, and then we had two ground outs, a quick top of the sixth, and he got right back in the box, hits another ball really hard out to right, um, pretty much right there on that line drive, decided to just no longer try and dot that fastball on the outside half, he was doing really well hitting that ball in the later half portion of this game, all Spencer Strider into the seventh. Spencer Strider's at 76 pitches here with two outs, and he gives up a base hit to Noden. I thought about taking him out right there after that at bat, but I kept him in, and then Maldonado gets this one to droop over the line. So that's going to give him runners on the corners with two outs. We're going to go to Josh Hader out of the bullpen. Lefty, lefty. He doesn't go to his bench. Keeps Lars Newbar out there, and we get the strikeout on the slider to end the seventh inning. So now we're only up by two, but we're six outs from a win. Josh Hader stays out on there to pitch in the bottom of the eighth inning, gets one out, and then we go back to the bullpen where Johan Duran's gonna come out, he gets a strikeout, then we go right after Thyro Estrada, he flies out to right field, and we're gonna skip straight into the ninth where Duran takes the first batter because I forgot to warm up Nelson. Nelson then comes out with one out, he gets a strikeout to get us to two outs, and then he's gonna go ahead and shut the door here, two outs in the ninth, gets a ground ball to Corey Seager who's gonna go jump throw Jeter on the final out of the ball game, and we win it 3-1. Kind of a boring one, just no success to center field for either of us. That's how it always goes here in this ballpark. In total, we ended up with 18 total bases, three runs, one multi-homer game. We had 14 strikeouts with our pitching staff. That's one bonus. Other than that, nothing. 45 packs for our accomplishments, 55 packs after the attack on the 10 for the win. So 55 points in packs to spend. We unlocked a ton of stuff post game once again. Which is gonna be like my favorite part about this whole season five pack squads is everything from set three, set four, and set five. We're grinding all of it at the same time. So we're just getting flooded with content after every game. I decided to jump in here. We had five treat vouchers and five trick vouchers. So I'm gonna, Ex exchange all of those into the trick and treat programs. This unlocked a couple of 97 overall players, but it also unlocked a number retirement pack 
and a great race of 98 packs. So that adds more choice packs to our inventory that we could potentially use. Now, out of our 55 points for this episode, right out of the gates, we're gonna trade in 20 of them to open up this pack nine chase pack and the season five chase pack. Try and get a chase player here. Reggie Jackson, Mike Trout on the board. We do get a purple diamond in the pay chase pack nine and it's Sean Murphy. So that's extremely not helpful. We already have a better Sean Murphy. Season five chase pack. This is where we could get Mike Trout, baby. But it's purple. <laughs> hold the, had to hold the line on you there for a second. Just another purple. Doesn't help us at all. Manny Machado. Not even anyone we can use. No one we don't have. I decided to buy two more bundles and spend 20 more points on two more chase packs. The third chase pack gives us a live series Bo Bichette, and then the fourth and final chase pack is another purple. We went 0 for 4 on chase packs. Pitching for us in game three is gonna be Fernando Valenzuela. Own squad, back-to-back -back games. He's got 40, 70, Ronald. He's got 99, Catfish, Hunter on the mound. This is definitely the best team we've faced so far. Get through, sneak through, nice play. Not gonna get Trey Turner there though. There's a point to start things off. Seeds, stay fair. He did it again, off the foul pole. Seeger keeps it fair straight down the line. Let's go. Ah. That's actually a really good swing, but Sean Murphy gets zero type of exit below on it. We'll fly out the center. Cranked again! Corey Seager and Jordan Alvarez both go yard in the same inning. Jordan, perfect, perfect, 414. We're never gonna get a distance bonus with this squad. The south side unis are nice though. Ronald! Get down, get down, get down. He uh, took a couple points from me there. Frederick? Frederick? Ah! Well, three in the first inning does a lot for our six run total that we're trying to get to. We failed the challenge in game one. This is our second attempt. Good fastball. It's one, two on Jeff McNeil. Go up and in on him. In on them hands. Ah! It's a really good screwball. We don't get the strikeout. Jeff McNeil hits it right back up the middle. PFPs! Good curveball. All right, that curveball was actually gross, and that's a good pitch off the screwball. Comes out of the hand somewhere, breaks differently. Good fastball. Ew, that was a disturbing at bat there, Fernando. Hang over that one. I need some points. It's a bad pitch. He's only batting 175 with Juan. Can't be having that, man. Oh, it went down even more. Get down that line, Mookie. Yeah, the shift is on out in the outfield. That's going to be extra bases for Mookie. Two points to start the second. Get down that line. Same swing, opposite way. Oh, he caught it on the run. Nice play. Two good swings there. We finally put a bad bat on a ball there. Here comes the top of the other two. Let's cash in with two outs. Cash in with two. 1 0 curveball here to Trout. That's a terror. Actually, that's actually not a bad pitch at all. <laughs> Yo, his curveball's got so much movement. And I got to switch my pitching camera angle. I want to stay here anyway, but sometimes I forget to switch it off of broadcast or pitcher center, I, I believe. Those signs behind home plate here in Anaheim are brutal. Let's get another curveball down here. Better pitch than the first one. Ground ball to short. Oh no, we let go yellow. Matt Olsen picks it out of the dirt. Got him. Swings over top of the changeup. Another point on the strikeout for Valenzuela. Four on the gas. No, that's weak. That ball's destroyed. Please get over his head. Come on, Sean. I'm having no luck with this Sean Murphy. You're done! Oh my goodness. Come on, man. Man, this guy, this guy, he's trying to just run into a fastball, but we're locating the screwball and the curveball extremely well. Whenever we pull that change up out of the back pocket, he just out of his shoes. Let's go back upstairs, change eye levels. 
Throw it to him. Show it to him. Now we'll go change up. Put him away. That's not a good pitch. Oh, yeah. He's just out of his shoes. He's out of his shoes. Ground ball to shortstop. Hit hard. Two down. Nasty. Beautiful. Or we'll just roll over a slider. That's cool, too. Good spot. Got exactly what I wanted, but he just painted it. And here's Mookie. He hit a double last time up. Get through. Mookie! He beats the outfield shift for a double, but he cannot beat the infield shift this time. It's way too much plate. And Ronald hit that 105. It's going to go Randy. He's got the platoon with Juan Soto. My guy's got the worst batting averages I have ever seen. Fly ball to center. It's gone at any non-MLB park, probably. Maddie, We got it 97 off the bat. Can it stay fair? It's gone. I think he could have caught it. What was he doing out there? Matt Olsen gets it to go. Four runs now. We're two away from the challenge. Cranked. Trey Turner, perfect, perfect. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was going to get caught. That'll be a one-out double for Trey. Now, a home run covers the challenge. Six, perfect, perfect. Double play. Ground ball to short. Trey Turner, I didn't let go early that time. Nice play. Got nothing for us. <laughs> Real bad. He's got nothing for us. Sw Nah, that will be a base hit. Not what I'm trying to do with your daddy, though. He threw the same exact slider. Crank. Oh, Bobby Witt Jr. <laughs> Our first five-point jump on a diving catch. What a stop at third base. I'm just going to go change up out over the plate here to Lindor. Not going to walk him, but not throwing him a fastball either. Popped it up. <laughs> Frederick, there we go. Come on, one big barrel. I want this free pack. Just don't hit the ball hard in the air. <gasps> what in the world is this? I never get stuff like that. They owed us that hit from the last game. <laughs> Ground ball to third. That's going to score one. Ah, we got to get at least that. We got to get that sixth run right now, though. We can't get out of here with just the one. Or, or that's exactly what we're going to do. Fly ball left center. That'll be the first out of the seventh. Ball's rolling again. Oh, boy. That one might get over the wall. Ronald. Ronald! Just reach up, man. Three run game. All right, that's gonna do it. We'll bring Felix Bautista out here. Done with Valenzuela. Nasty slider, he put it in play though. Third out, that ends the seventh. I believe we need one more strikeout for the bonus. Got six outs to work with for it. Cranked. Seeger, chest high slider, hits it hard. He's gotta bring him around, we hit the challenge. Cranked. Sean Murphy! Good! Let's go! We got on the board! Sean gets on the board! There's our free pack with challenge complete. We scored six or more runs. We're back up five here in the eighth. Now you're done! Stay fair! Multi-homer bonus! Let's go! Bang! That's his third barrel of this game. Eight to two. Oh, baby. Ronald Acuna Jr. Did we get a distance bonus finally? He hit it to the second bullpen. 107, 417. Another tag for Ronald. Five more points. Nine to two. Yep. Went to the bullpen and then hit us with a slider anyway.
I'm just not touching the slider. He should just throw that same pitch over and over again. Yeah, it's Monty Grandal leading off the eighth. <laughs> Swings through a terrible fastball. Let's go upstairs now. Good spot. Now just go right after him. Right after him. I believe that was number 10, which would be another bonus. Nolan Arnauto in there now. When you got to try and take that pitch this time. Oh, wow, Mr. Freeze. Yikes. Seager, 108 foul. Trying to get to the 10 run mark here with two outs and a ninth. Oh, two balls smoked into the net. Come right after me. Ah, oh, it was too good to be true. He throws a slider up there, 0-2. One of the heater to win the game. Perfection. Perfection! Change up straight down. Yeah! Ball game, we win at 9-2. Let's tally up all of our points and see exactly where we're at. We had 14 strikeouts with the pitching staff, one diving catch, 34 total bases. We got hit by a pitch one time, we scored nine. We had a multi-homer game. In total, we had 49 offensive packs, 24 defensive packs, and we won the game for 10 more. That gives us a total of 83 points or packs for this episode, plus one choice pack for completing the six run challenge. And post game, we unlock Bruce Dark Gratterall. Anthony Rizzo's 97 overall. 10 pack bundle. First thing we're gonna do, our choice pack from completing the challenge. Let's open up this, this finest pack. Rare round is Francisco Alvarez or Devin Williams. We have a one in four shot at that. One in four. No! Jake Berger's 99 overall sitting here. He's also got second base as a secondary option. Evan Phillips is a relief pitcher. Four pitch mix, really good control of his pitches or George Kirby. We could really use a starter right now. Um, man, give, uh, give me Evan Phillips. Give me Evan Phillips. Replace the live series Evan Phillips. Second pack here, I'm gonna trade in 50 for another choice pack and I'm gonna open this great race of 98 pack where we can get the set four. We can use the set four cards. We got the rare round, bang! Are you kidding me? Let's go! We hit a rare round. Sean Green could also play first. Carlos Delgado could play catcher. But we do have Sean Murphy. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta do Carlos Delgado. Uh, he's so good. Now we have 33 packs left. Gonna open up 33 standards and see where we're at when we're done. We'll be at 248 packs, I believe. Hopefully we can, we can pull us another one of these. We need Evan Carter. We need live series gold Evan Carter. One eternity later. First diamond is Clayton Kershaw. Again, does not help us. Like most of the diamond pulls that we get. Seriously, I can't wait for season one of Pack Squad's MLB 24 when we're just opening 50 standards in every episode to get all the live series is the best part. Three more, down to our final three packs of this episode. We've already made some big upgrades. A monster was added to our lineup. I have no idea who's gonna pitch the next episode. We have one diamond. Purple. Rats. We'll go double check the collection, see if we didn't get Evan Carter out of a pack and I just didn't notice, but this diamond is... Hey, Nathan of all. Jacob DeGrom, Spencer Strider, Fernando Valenzuela have kicked things off with a 3-0 start and starting in the next episode is gonna be 92 core series, John Smoltz. Good news is we have added our first 99 to the pitching staff in Evan Phillips. We have his, his finest card, which is gonna be full energy in the next episode, along with the rest of the staff. Josh Hader down just a little bit, and Felix Bautista down just a little bit, still in the green. Full staff to back up John Smoltz to kick off the next video. Comment down below what packs you think I should target next. If you're looking for more Shelfie content, hit either of these two videos you see on the screen right here. There's also Pack Squads playlists on my channel. If you're looking for more Pack Squads in particular, go check out the playlist. We've been doing this for years. Have a great day, everybody. I love you.